Mm-mm-mm. You know, I know it was a reason why um, nobody was messing with her. Uh, and besides her being at Stanford teaching um, her self-hatred rhetoric, um, I really didn't uh, think about her since the Bush administration. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I don't know how many of y'all tuned in to The View and um, their guest, their guest was Condoleezza Rice. As Dave Chappelle would say, what kind of rice you want? Give me some Condoleezza Rice. I have never been so insulted by a black woman in all my life. Mm. Women, let me um, calm down and let the minutes pass. Um, as a lot of y'all know, uh, it's easy to play on how neutral and how uh, open that you must be in terms of race if you were friends with and grew up with the little girls that uh, got uh, blew up in the church on 16th. 16th Street Baptist Church in Alabama. Is that the name of the church, I believe? Yeah. And because you were friends with him, because I know, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, McNair was friends with a county supervisor, a friend of mine named Tyrone Dumas. He was also related to one of the kids that got um, um, blew up in the church. But he don't act nothing like you, girl. So let me take off these clear gloves and let you know you are canceled. You want to talk about canceling Dave Chappelle? Cancel this broad who had the nerve to get her bony roach looking self. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me stop. That, that, okay. And had the nerve, oh my God, to say, I want to talk about her comments on <laughs> critical race theory. This broad actually had the nerve. She's so full of self-hatred. I know why they had her picked her. People like her, um, black people, I, if y'all proud of her, I don't know why. She's the epitome of somebody that don't like herself. She's the epitome of that. Her language, her demeanor, her mannerism, the way she speaks, not because she speaks with proper diction. I'm talking about how she speaks. We don't want any little white children feeling bad about being white. When we talk about teaching critical, I've never heard something so pathetic in all my life. We don't want no kids feeling bad about history. But history is, is what history is. And how dare you? You big Uncle Tom is. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care at this point. Somebody need to read these old ass people, my age and older, about the stuff y'all putting down and continue to put down and continue to let this stuff keep going because of your hatred for yourself. And you don't want to hear that. No, you don't want to hear it. Same thing with Colin Powell. Let them people use him to go in there and tell him that they had weapons of mass destruction. He was used. Just like you are used. And you, lady, are the worst epitome of a black woman that I could imagine. I don't give a damn what job you had. In the, you know, I don't care if you was secretary or what. I don't even care. I see you. I see you. And I'm glad Sonny Hoffman, I'm glad Whoopi Goldberg had some comeback for your ass. Sonny was looking at you like, bitch! Bitch! Who are you, bitch? Uh-huh. So we saw you. So I hope you um know now that really your place and your voice in the black community is shit. Just like you. Just like you. And the way you think 
as much as we being downtrodden now, as much now as we need self uh, 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 reflection on what the truth is, because that's why we in the situation we in now, because we don't want to deal with the truth. The reason why you got more self hatred type of uh, 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 behavior manifesting itself because people like you won't admit the truth. And I'm sick of this self-hatred perpetuating itself, whether it's on a high scale, like, like Condoleezza Rath, or if it's on a low-down scale where brothers and sisters uh, uh, bat blasted each other on the goddamn streets. Self-hatred is self-hatred. And what you did to me, and what you did to all these people watching you, Condoleezza, will show me that you care about somebody else's feeling. And all these black kids who had to grow up century after century after century feeling bad about themselves. And you got the nerve to open up your goddamn mouth and talk about some white kids feeling bad about themselves. You a low down woman. And you don't got no place uh, in, 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 in black history as far as I'm concerned at all. You know, they should have a black Uncle Tom, a black Sambo museum. And put your ass in it. Now, I'm sorry for some of y'all whose feelings I heard. I had to get that off my chest. Very angry. Because uh, I didn't think Con uh, Condoleezza Rice was that messed up. After experiencing those girls getting killed in a church. I don't even care how it sounds no more. As far as I'm concerned. I treat people with respect. Just like I expect to be treated. I give as good as I get. And she totally disrespected me. So I really don't give a damn how it sounds about her. And I wish more people would be more honest. All right. If you like what you hear, subscribe, share this video.